Yeah, I don't want that in the video. Yeah, no. because it's oh, no. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Guys, everybody say hi to self because she looks so cute. She's so precious and she's such a little baby and guys, I love her so much. Guys, if you're like, what's going on here, guys? A light shattered in my hands and I have two big gashes on each hand, so. And I'm surprised she didn't like have a scream attack about it because I, I thought you would have. When I heard that, I was like, first I thought it was Lucy and then I'm like, oh, it's the light. Once I realized what that circle thing was. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and turn on your post notifications. Um, and today we are doing 22 Our, things. What we've learned in 22. But I don't know if I have 22 things written down. No, I, I said, said to write down 11. Um, whatever came to my mind, really. I said to write down 11. So 11 so plus 11 is 22. Particular about these things, which I just don't really think it matters. I Anyways, it this is gonna be a new series we do on our channel. At the end of each year, we're gonna do 22 things we learned, 23 things, 24 things. Okay, and guys, 2023 is the year we graduate. Hi, so that's crazy. Like, we've been like, 2023 has just been like a year that we've always like, um, so basically, as we said, we're doing 22 things we learned in 2022. Can you go to my notes? Let's freaking go. Okay, so I'll start, guys. So the first thing that I really started learning is like, not to have so much anxiety about all these little ass things. Like, it doesn't matter, like, if you don't study for a test, or like, you miss a class, or like, whatever. Like, I want Ava to go to gym class for me because I can't, I'm having kind of anxiety about that, but it's like, just stop having anxiety about little stupid things that you don't need to have any anxiety about. Okay, moving on. So, my first thing is it's okay to feel down. And guys, I kind of, for my facts, I kind of want like a little like rough. Like I kind of like really like hit me in the face with some of these. If you're not getting your stuff done, like it's okay to feel down. It's okay not to feel good. It's okay to take days off. But if you're not getting your stuff done, that's on you and you only. It's not on someone who's causing you stress or someone who's being rude to you. Mm, it's not on them. About that it's not on them. It's on you. Class. It's on you to control what you get done, not other people around you. You can't control how people um, like react around you or act around you or how they respect you and treat you. So you can't blame it on them on why you're not getting your stuff done. It's on you. All right, guys. So my next thing is um, knowing what you're going to do at 18 and like what you're going to do for the rest of your life is just impossible. And like not don't stress about that. Like don't stress about that. Don't stress about where you're gonna go to school. Don't stress about all these things because it really doesn't matter. I think the only thing that you should really be thinking about is do you wanna put yourself in $100,000 debt when you go to college? I think that's the only thing that you need to really be deciding is if that's something that you wanna do or not. I personally disagree. <laughs> I don't think you should really worry about the money part of college. I think if you wanna go to college, just go to college and worry about the money part later. Cause that's my motto, but you know, you do you. My second one is, I feel like this is one that could go for both Taylor and I, is it is okay to skip school. It is okay to take days off of school, even if you're not sick. Like it is okay. Like, like some especially people, days, like you can like plan them around days when you don't have anything going on. Like how many times are you in a class when you have nothing to do in that class? Like some people will not let their kids in his school to like save their lives and it's like, Okay, calm down. Like, school is not everything. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to skip a class or skip a class you don't want to go to, you know? Sometimes you just don't like the people in that class. And it's okay. As long as, like, you're getting your work done and you want to miss a few days here and there, like, that is okay. And I feel like realizing that will, like, legitimately change your life. But if you're not getting your work done and you're having, like, an F in the class and you're skipping every day, like, that's where it comes to a problem, you know? What I mean? I might want to stay in MN. That's something that I really learned is I always thought I'd want to get out of here. But actually, like, obviously I wasn't ever planning on leaving, like, for college or anything like that, but kind of, like, once I had a job, like, a real, like, grown-up job, I was planning on leaving, but now I'm kind of, like, I don't know. I might be staying. I don't know if I want to make, like, a permanent state a different home yet, but I know I, like, want to live in different places for a couple months and, like, just see what the world has to offer. Oh, Guys, so let's, let's do a question of the day right now. What is your favorite... Um, 
Johnny Cash song. What's yours? Probably Boy Named Sue. <laughs> yeah. Mine's probably I've Been Everywhere. What? Okay, you're gonna be sensitive right now. Okay, number three, stand up for what you need. You know, and for like an example, like at school or in your job or whatever. Yeah, like guys, they took me out of seminar and I need an open hour and we're gonna have to fight for it. I mean, they basically already said I could have one, but we're still gonna have to email and tell them to drop it. But Classes. you need to fight for what you need and fight for what's best for you. You can't just let people walk all over you, especially like in school systems and they're like, no this, no that. Like, no, if you need that, you better get it, you know? Okay, so another thing that I've learned with just having a new dog this year is that I don't want as many dogs as I thought I did. <laughs> you know, I always said I want like 5 million hundred dogs, but I'm thinking maybe three or four is like my limit. And I don't think I want them sleeping in the bed with me either. <laughs> What? Yeah, so that's what I learned. Why? Why don't you want them sleeping in the bed? Because I'm becoming kind of a germaphobe guy. Oh, please. Guys, hear me out on this one, okay? So, this may be like a little bit weird, but I was just thinking about like with some people's parents together. I feel like, like, I feel like people who parents are together, they like tend to like be like have more like attachment like they tend to be more of like a relationship person right but growing up with like a single mom kind of like doing everything on her own and stuff and like not having like a father figure in the home since we were like i don't know 13 or whatever i think it really taught us or taught me to be more independent and i think that's why i'm such like a non-relationship person is because that's just kind of how I grew up. And I don't know if that makes sense or not, um, but I think it honestly really impacted me. I think I'm like more independent because of my parents not being like glued to each other hips, like a lot of other parents, you know? Taylor will say her next fact, but I have to go grab the dog. Okay guys, so my next Okay, we're saying facts, but it's actually lessons. Yeah, lessons. So my next lesson that I've learned is like, I might not go to college and that's okay. And guys, actually, like I'd be like the first person in my family to like not go to college. So yeah. So my next one is now that I can vote, I've personally never understood why people don't want to share who they voted for because I've learned that I want to just tell the whole world. <laughs> Like, I have absolutely no problem telling people who I voted for. And I don't understand why people have such a hard time telling people. My next lesson that I've learned is that I really am trying to like put myself together more and like get ready more. I used to like not really do those things. I mean, obviously like my hygiene, but like I'm really trying to like put in an effort and stuff. I didn't put in an effort today, obviously, because I got injured. Well, but you guys wanna know what she did yesterday? She decided to do one eyebrow and not the other. So, she's really putting in that effort. You know no, I, mean? I did do the other eyebrow, but it, it got So I didn't do it again. So then she walked around the whole day with one eyebrow done, the other one not done. Anyways, my next one is, okay, so some background. So in summer 2021, I was struggling mentally so badly with getting a job. Like I had like so many mental breakdowns about it because it was just like, I had so much like pressure on me to like get a job and I just couldn't. Like one, it was like YouTube because I wanted to like work on that most of the time. And two, like I just didn't want a job and it was like scary. Like I didn't know how to like, I, I just like didn't know what I was doing. Okay guys, like it just terrified me. And something I learned was it really wasn't as scary as I painted it out to be. Yeah, guys, same with me. Like, it really was not that bad. And guys, if you, the job doesn't work out, there's a hundred million jobs out there. Like, you can just quit that job and go. And it's job. easy. I always got scared because I thought like I could never quit the job or like they wouldn't let me quit or I'm like trapped here for the next like three years. Like, that's really not how it works unless you sign like a contract or something. And I could leave my job whenever I want. And honestly, getting my job turned out to be like a really good blessing because I love my job and it honestly brings light to my life and I love my little kids. I work with kids. One thing that I've learned is like asking for help is okay even though I ask for help but I don't receive it. Like today I'm gonna need help 
Like Ava's gonna have to feed the dogs today. She's just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it because I just can't with my hand state. Um, yeah, I'm asking for help and that's okay. And sometimes you just have to demand help if they don't wanna help you. I hate feeding the dogs. Yeah guys, she does not like doing it, but I just can't with my mental state right now. So um, Ava has to do that. And sometimes guys, another lesson is you just have to trust people even though they're gonna it up. Like, are the dogs gonna probably be eating the, all the wrong and everything's gonna be wrong? Yeah, but it's like, it's okay, they're eating, so it's fine. Like, just chill. Uh, a lesson I also learned, guys, is um, don't trust people. Take everything into your own hands because sometimes when you trust people, they just like little Taylor over here. It's like, Holy she's dude. lost like 99% of my trust with her getting things done because she never does it. And if she does, she does it terrible. Do you do anything that I ask? I bet that glitter ain't picked no, up No, but yet. I am going to pick oh, it up. Oh, please. I am going to pick it up. My and ass. if it was your glitter, please. I would have picked it up. I wouldn't make you do it. Because I'm not weird like that. Because it's glitter. You can't pick it. You just have to sweep it up on the broom. <laughs> with the broom. Yeah, on the broom. No, with the broom. You sweep it up with the broom. No, on like the broomstick. Or the broom pan. The dust pan? <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, my last one is gonna your be- Your last one? Yeah, my last one is this next one, and then your, that's gonna be your last one. No, we have to do 22 things. We did. No, we didn't. All right, guys, my last one is just- I'm sorry, but I- Didn't think of anything else. No, these are my most important, and I think all the other ones would okay, distract say... from my most important one. Guys, <laughs> she's just a random as <laughs> to get out of doing the work. Like, what the- just say your last one, okay? My last one is just to stop <laughs> judging. <laughs> just stop judging. Like Ava was yeah, judging. You, too. you like, literally last time like you guys wanted to know what she so said. She she turned around her phone and she's like, at least you're not as ugly as this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. You, you did. Those are your exact words. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that in the video. <laughs> yeah, no. Because it's, oh, no. Because who says that? And then I said it right after I said she was beautiful. Because I believe if you have a pretty soul, you got a pretty face. I'm just saying, guys, Taylor has I'm to work just, on that herself. I'm working on it myself, but like, Ava's been judging me this entire video. And no, it's I like, haven't been. Yes, you have. And it's just like, don't judge, guys. Just like, mind your own business. Just chill, do your own shit, and just don't fucking judge. So guys, for my shy people, where are we at? Where are we at? I am very shy myself. If you guys, like you might like watch your videos and think, oh my God, these are like the most outgoing people ever. Like, no, we're really not. We're actually like really, really shy. But talking to new people isn't as bad. Like sometimes they can like really hurt your feelings and like make you feel like shit. But I would say 80% of the time, it really just like opens up more people that you just like and more people you can connect with. And this one may be controversial for some people, but also people may like really enjoy it. But it's basically saying, what I'm basically saying is you can have happy moments at school. Like through my whole childhood, I've kind of like through middle school and even into like ninth grade, I always hated school. Like I just hated it. Like I was really depressed and like middle school and even in like fourth and fifth grade, like it was just bad. Like we were just going through a hard time then. And I never really like enjoyed school. Like I did not like it, but not to say that I didn't have good moments. And I remember one year last year where I was literally crying laughing in a class like i thought it was the most funniest thing ever nobody else thought it was funny except me but i don't care and i just like i would give anything to go back to that day because that was honestly one of my favorite days of the year and that was just like a really good moment i have at school and i'll like cherish that moment forever so just know you can have good days at school you can anyways my last one is <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I learned because I didn't I didn't really go through anything like this before But like any type of breakup can be hard a friendship breakup To a boyfriend breakup or to a show breakup. You know what I mean? It's freaking difficult 
And like, I know I'm like, I've never had like such bad conflict with someone where it was like, I don't know, super challenging. Like just like, I guess, peacing out. But like, I definitely did this year with a couple people and it was actually really hard. And like, it really took like a toll on me. Not like crazy amount of toll, but like it took something away from me. And knowing that like going through any type of breakup is difficult and it's going to take like a mental toll on you and it's going to take away from some of your priorities and knowing that that's like okay. But yeah, that's 22 things we learned in 2022. I have a feeling that wasn't 20, 22 things. Um, actually, I know for a fact that wasn't 2022 things. 2022 things. 22 things. But yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I love you all. Have a good one. Um, make sure you be kind. Make sure you guys stay kind and stay present. And don't, don't judge. judge. And we'll see you guys in our very next video. Make, make sure you guys, guys like, subscribe, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, 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 notifications, and we will see you in our very next video. I did eat up. And now it's time for us to say bye bye. 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 And he was like, stop the camera. No. Stop reading my list. I wasn't. I wasn't. Like, <laughs> judging my No, I'm not. I didn't even see it. I didn't um, even see it. No, but you're just judging that I don't have him numbered, that I don't yeah, have Yeah, I was judging Yeah, <laughs> yeah she already has these long ass lessons, and then she's adding one. <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, if you don't get your homework done, that's nobody else's fault but yours. You know? So, that one might Well, what if your daddy's beating you all night? Like, you don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's the thing. It's like... You don't know <laughs> why you gotta say it like that. <laughs> Bye, Taylor. Yeah, well, I said in certain situations. Did you miss that part? <laughs> oh, okay. But the last one! Just finally! Knowing. The last one! Just knowing. Just knowing. The last one! Just knowing. Just knowing. The last one! Just knowing. The last one! I don't know, you got fucking running your big ass mouth?